This is the unboxing of the Atlas 46 Master Carpenter's Tool Vest Rig. First, I wanted to start with my old tool belt. This is a brown bag, GSR or Tool Rider or something like that. I've had it for like 10 years. It served me well, but I'm tired of fixing it. The stuff is beginning to pop apart like a 10 year old tool belt would. So this is more of a suspension type unit. At the time there weren't many other companies making anything quite like this. And when I finally pulled the trigger to buy this, the, the company was going belly up. So they were having sales on them everywhere. So I looked out. Um, things I loved about it was just the sheer size and organization of all the stuff. I mean, the way that they divided the inside of the tool belt here was fantastic. Way back when, when I first got this, all these, these pockets used to stay open, but being packed in and out of my toolbox and my truck all the time, they've kind of gotten really flat and difficult to use. And, you know, as with any other tool belt, getting picked up and scraped across the ground over and over again, the corners have begun to wore out and I got tired of using duct tape to keep all the nails in. And the uh, suspension rig was fantastic. I mean, just to show how old this is, this is the cell phone pocket. It would hold a flip phone and that's about it. Same with this one. These, these actually functioned as holding electrical tape and block erasers. I used to hold screwdriver bits in there, but then the holes just got too excessive and I was driving, I was dropping the bits everywhere. So enough about the old tool belt and on to the new one. I'm hoping that nifty box I've seen on other uh, unboxing videos is inside this one because this one's pretty plain, but I definitely love how they logoed their stuff up in other YouTube videos I've watched. I've been very excited about this. I was shopping around quite some bit. Um, there was one company that had my interest. It was uh, Iron Dog Tool Belts and uh, their lack of accessibility made me go towards Atlas. But one thing that I thought was for sure cool was that they had a pit bull in their logos. And it, for me personally, if it ain't pit, it ain't shit. I mean, I love those dogs. No, wouldn't name a business after one after all so no box in a box but here we have the saratoga vest in black i like black Let's see here this is the uh the two pockets that come with this is something called a second generation something or another um, so we got this one here, which has got quite some cool dividing in it. And from what I understand, yeah, it's got like a memory wire inside of it, so you can even create your own divisions inside of it. And the other thing I love was these bottom open pockets that you can empty all your stuff out and really get this thing cleaned out. Because, I mean, one good rainstorm that you work in that is if you don't shy away when the rain comes. All the sawdust that's inside your tool belt can create almost like a cake inside, which can be very difficult to clean up in a royal pain in the ass. So we got this pocket here. We got this pocket, which has great tool dividing in it. I mean, it's layered, you know? I'm going to be able to do a lot with this. Let's see here. I got this random item. This looks like it would hold my coffee cup quite fantastically. Let's see here. Make this a little more organized. Tape measure pocket. Got this cool drill holster. I love this idea. Ah, uh, the right-handed hammer holster. Well, oh, that actually... This feels like 
it has plastic stiffeners in it so that this loop will remain open because I think I've seen some other people mention to the fact that you know we all enjoy the steel ones because they never wear out with time so you're sitting there trying to put your hammer behind your hip and missing because the, the cloth is just folded over and that just adds up to wasted time throughout the day uh, let's see well whatever this nifty thing is for I'm sure I'll find a use for that and then I didn't I got two magnetic clips because I just fell in love with the idea of just being able to be working with a wrench and having my hands full and just being able to stick it to your chest and keep working and pull it off you know or something along those lines or sometimes you just got the hardware for this this one uh, you know item that you're trying to mount but it's very specialized you can stick the, the screws right there and it doesn't get mixed up with all the other stuff you usually carry on you and uh, this magnetic one here even has pockets on the bottom for holding your uh, impact driver bits and then the last thing I also got were their knee pads I didn't go with the extra big ones because I really don't use knee pads that often I'm more of a fan of squatting down getting a full range of motion in my body I see uh, I learned from my elders of watching a lot of guys who kneel down a lot. Their backs and their knees were destroyed by my age and I'm, I'm just turning 40 recently. Um, and I want longevity because I plan on making sawdust till I'm old because I fucking love this. And then they got here the, uh, the Nelson Freedom Clip. So in summation, I finally have this whole thing set up, I think, it's probably going to take some free, uh, readjustments in the, in, the, uh, in the future naturally. Because of its modular design, um, it's, uh, I look forward to being able to recreate it as time goes on and new gear and whatnot that we obtain that uh, keeps us psyched going to work. And this. This is gonna keep me psyched going to work. It's just fantastic. I love the range of motion. It doesn't feel like it's cutting into my trap so hard like the suspension system did. And I think that that's partially due to the fact that it's you're cinching it into your waist so tight to distribute the load that when you're working overhead, it was just pulling down on my traps all the time. And just being able to rearrange like all the little pockets around so easily, you know, I'm uh, I'm really impressed. You know, I mean, I spent a lot of money, but usually I find with a lot of products nowadays, you spend a lot of money, you get more than you expected. I mean, this thing's got zippers and pockets on the inside. I mean, it's that's a rep. That's my first unboxing tool review. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. It's been 19 months since I filmed that video and I've changed my setup just a little bit. No, seriously, tool vest from the way I last put it on in the video. Um, so my review after wearing it for 19 months on the job, um, I like to keep this a little bit bullet. Got my notes right here. Who? The sawdust addict. No, seriously, Atlas 46. What? This is Atlas 46's carpenter's rig with the Saratoga vest. Where? Here in New England. Well, at least for me anyways. Um, other than that, you're gonna have to look up atlas46.com. When? Like I said, 19 months ago. Why? Because I needed a new tool vest. Why not? No, seriously. Um, yeah, I needed a new tool setup. I looked everywhere and uh, I was really in love with the concept of, I think they pronounce it Molly, that the military uses. 
such a flexible platform to be able to change things however you want. Um, this is based on that, but not exactly like Molly. So um, if uh, you have a hard time with changing anything around, I found it a little bit challenging. Now comes what part two. What do I love about this? Everything. Seriously, I'm not kissing ass. I fucking love this thing. Uh, it's super comfortable. You can infinitely change the setup. And if you've got some ingenuity behind you, you can, uh, you can maneuver this thing however you want. Also, what I love is that they are endlessly coming up with new configurations of pouches to add to this whole thing. And they recently uh, redesigned this with a much slimmer profile so that it's not quite so hot and it's easier to move around in. Um, what don't I like about this? Just what I was saying. This vest can be a little bit rigid, especially when you know I do a lot of finish work. So that means you're usually crouching into small areas and it does it is difficult to like squat and kneel um which is the majority of what i do uh speaking of i also uh really love the the uh the knee pads i get a lot of use out of those knee pads now um probably just getting older but they're super comfortable you put them on they never fall ever i mean i wear those things all damn day and uh, they're super comfy and at the end of the day I'm not limping so that's another wonderful thing um, I'm really just surprised at how happy I am with the overall performance of the whole thing and continually realizing that there's other little nifty things about it oh another thing that I do love about it places to put morale patches you can crack yourself up every day they're cheap go on to you know whatever those websites are and just type in under the search bar morale patch prepare to laugh got to cross our lines off here the last w would i do it again fuck yeah i'd do it again i wouldn't even hesitate next time around you take the uh divided cost of a rig like this lasting you between five to ten years or even more and divide that into an annual cost it really is nothing uh and as far as I'm concerned, it's way better than having something blow out and continually having to replace it every year. Um, I think companies like this and uh, others that are pushing the envelope as far as quality is making everyone in the market step their game up. So there's a lot of choices out there for you guys. And, uh, you know, do your due diligence, do your research. You see somebody with these. I walked up to a guy who had one that was an electrician and just, you know, instantly barraged them with questions because I really don't give a fuck. I want to know personally what people think about things. Um, so, yeah, that is uh, my honest review. I would totally do it again. Wouldn't even flinch. And uh, I keep an eye on their website for other nifty doodads that they have. So um, if I find something extraordinary, I'll do a review on it so that any of you that are inspired or deterred from it, you know, at least you had more information. I put this together because when I bought this there weren't that many reviews on it as far as carpenters go so um yeah hope that helps thank you for your time